Let me ask you some questions about chilies, the area where you've probably had the greatest impact of all food areas. So here I have some mulatto chilies. If you look at a lot of food recipes, if you make a Mexican mole, you will use more mulattoes than any other kind of chili. Not always, but quite typically, say um, in the Rick Bayless recipe. Yeah, well, now why is that? What is it about this chili? Well, first of all, Tyler, you've got do to what you, do what you want. You've got to open, first of all, you have to open them up because 90% of old chilies are mislabeled. Yes. That's one of the problems. So that you may, whatever it says on the package may, may not be true. The point is, is that mulattoes, when you hold them up to the light, right. like this, see it's more, do you see it's more purple and more reddish? Yes, more I do. More it. That is not a mulatto. So they defrauded me. Yeah, that's an ancho. Okay. Because a mulatto will be more coffee-ish and more dark tones. So what, you, what a mulatto will do is actually have those flavonoids that are coffee and chocolate. And those in a mole are the undertones of the wide sort of structure, the wide foundation of those flavors that we really like. Now, the fruit tones and the capsaicins and the spicy tones are your basically accessories. The ancho is always the workhorse because it carries the most fruit. Yes. The mulatto carries the coffee and chocolate, which is those more or less fermented, umami, more complex sort of flavonoids. And then we throw in some guajillos or herbals to brighten it all up and, and, get, and get it going. So if I make a Mexican mole with these fraudulent mulatto chilies, <laughs> what exactly will go wrong? From, you're a super taster. You can tell the difference. Well, what will be missing? Well, the thing is, is that can I, I'm going to taste this for a Do second. As you wish. We can all taste it together. First of all, whenever you taste the chili, you right. notice there's a vein here. You want to stay away from the veins always. They contain 60% of the capsaicin. Okay. So you always stay away from the veins, and even if you can't see them. The other thing is, this is old. You know, and it, this is a, what's called a grade C chili. Yes. It's a small and it's dried and it's last year's crop. So they lose their perfume. They're like flowers, you know, they lose. So you, what you end up is you end up with the capsaicin. So this is a little bit bitter, do you notice? Correct. Like bitter tea, a little bit like lapsang shuchong. There's a little bit of that smoky, woody, mushroomy flavor. Where's my coffee and chocolate? Where is it? It's not here. It's so if you use you. this in your recipe, yes. you'll say it didn't come out well. You know what you didn't do? You didn't taste your ingredients. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get that wonderful warm flavor so that mulatto is supposed to have. And if I want a real mulatto chili, how do I actually get one? Given that 90% of it, according to you, is fraud. Well... Or at least misleading or someone made a you, mistake. You need to recognize when just the plastic... Okay, the other thing, when you buy chilies, yes. the thickness of the flesh is the most important thing. So all fruits, where do the tannins come from? Skins, seeds, and stems. So the thicker the flesh, yes. the least percentage of tannin. And that's what Mexicans do. They look for the most pliable, they look how thick it is, and when you hold it up to the light, they can tell how ripe it was mm -hmm. before it was dried, how much fruit flavor is gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Those are the big primeros. So when you're using a mole, you're really reincorporating fresh fruit complex tones into it. This, the people, it is, the chilies, the last thing they're looking for is heat. That's the last thing they're looking for. Now two other chilies, here's the- And also they notice it's still bitter on the palate. Yes. It's like, yeah, and it tastes a little bit like the fruit leather that's kind of stale. This one claims to be an ancho, but we're <laughs> happy to hear your revisionist take on it. This is bigger, for one. It's bigger. So, yeah, and it's a little bit um, darker, it's got that really dark, 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 almost uh, black, blackish brown look. Well, you, you need to hold them up to the light because that tells you. So that's, that's red, like an ancho, okay. It's pretty even inside, there's no um, mold. Okay. If you get one moldy chili right. out of 40, it'll ruin the mole, okay. one. A lot of people don't look for them. And when you rehydrate them, you taste the water. So this one, you t the leather again, it should taste like a fruit leather. Don't think chilies. See, the, the, what we're talking about with fuchsia, the paradigm and what you have in your head when you go after the taste is what you will taste. If you think chilies and go for heat, you yeah. shouldn't. You need to think fruit leather. Which fruit, which fruit do you get? Tell me the fruits you get, not the spice you're not. Which fruits? Oh, it's interesting. Um, is it cherry, apple, blackberry, blueberry? It's uh, it's like a maybe maybe apple maybe cherry not blueberry not blackberry no but it, I think it comes it's definitely like cherry it's actually black cherry or sour cherry yep and it has a little bits of of what's in this and this and there is this blackberry currant cassis cassis almost like the French cassis flavor at the bottom the the point is is that when you work with ingredients I don't care if it's chili coriander I have four different corianders from Indian to this or cumins. The, when you cook an ethnic food, a, a poor chef, and I work in Guatemala, what they're doing is they're controlling their palate. It may look 
Like those ingredients are not important. They're not expensive. Right. But they're very, very important. Of course. And that's why th this is not a bad ancho. I would okay. say B plus. <laughs> okay. And here's supposedly a pasilla. Tell us the difference. Well, this is. And if it's, it if should be pasilla negra. It, it should be longer for one thing. And, okay. For and, and it should be really get those black currant, black fruits, blackberry. When you again think black fruits. So. Is this just an ancho? Have I brought you three packages of anchos, actually? Maybe. Um, it seems that's what... Yeah, that's what it is. That's I think. what it is. This is ancho, an ancho everywhere. A little thicker. They are really wide, then. Yeah. A little bit. Mm. This was The second one was the best one. second one was the best one. Most fruit, most fruit tones, freshest, and less tannic. What you don't want, like a bitter wine, or a bitter... You don't want tannins. 